What, what is it? My bad tattoo. Okay. After serving time in the military, I got out, and I was still kind of young, and I wanted a tattoo. So I, a friend of mine that I met was a tattoo artist, but he only had one arm oh. and one hand. He was, like, crippled, and he had two fingers. So he got a tattoo gun, and I helped him build this thing, and he started tattooing on me. And after he'd done a bunch of the outlines, he got through in jail. Um, so then nobody could figure out the lines. So it took 15 years to get everything figured out. And a lot of it's really bad because he was like this, I don't know, he was a <laughs> child molester or something. And he got through in prison and nobody could figure it out. So I, I ended up with a bunch of funky lines. Where are your funky lines at? They go everywhere. They started here with my ex-wife holding her head. That's her picture. That's there. your ex-wife? <laughs> yeah, holding her head. That's her hand. Got my daughter's initials there. You do? Holding her mama's head. And then it went in. He covered up a pot leaf there, too. Oh, that's bad, yeah. So, but yeah. That's your ta tattoo nightmare. Yeah. And then it went, went on around to there. Oh, my Lord. All the funky lines. Who's that guy in the middle? I don't know. You don't know? He's just some guy that goes, okay. <laughs> Who's that? That's my yin yang. Your yin yang. He smiles. He smiles. And he frowns. Oh, he looks sad. That looks like a tattoo nightmare there. <laughs> Thank you very much for your story, Tim. Bye. <laughs>